Got a briefing, Jessica and Antoinette, from the governor and the MBTA, a pretty detailed briefing of the alternatives that will be available to Orange Line riders, and also a message that this is going to affect everyone, even if you don't take the T. Take a look at this map that the MBTA created. It shows uh, the affected area for all commuters and travelers. That is that big red blob that you see on the map there. The Orange Line will be shut down for 30 days starting Friday night, giving the T around the clock access to tracks in order to complete five years of work. They're adding commuter rail stops and also providing shuttle buses to help those Orange Line riders get to work, get to where they need to go. The governor today saying the T has experience with this type of large shutdown in order to accelerate work. And we all know that this diversion will be inconvenient for riders. And we ask people to be patient for the next 30 days as the T does five years worth of work over that period of time. I acknowledge that this closure will be disruptive, but people want and deserve safe and reliable service and we want to give it to them. And this is a way for, our, for us to effectively invest in maintaining the system. The T has created a rider's guide with graphics like this one to show uh, the shuttle buses that will replace Orange Line service and all the stops along the way. There's also work being done on the route to dedicate lanes on the road for those buses. Now those shuttle buses of course are free and if you are uh, going to take the commuter rail in those zones all you have to do is show your Charlie card. There won't be any tapping. You won't be charged. That ride will be free. Live in the Transportation Building, Sarah Kanji, WCVB News Center 5.